Hello students, today we will continue our exercise 2.4. In this question, we have to determine whether the polynomial is factor of another polynomial or not. Means we have to first find the zeros and putting the value of zeros in next polynomial if we are getting result as zero means it is factor if we are not getting the value as zero so that we can say that that number that polynomial is not divisible by given polynomial let's start with question number one <clears throat> here the x plus one is a factor of given four polynomials or not first of all we have to find the zeros <coughs> zeros of x plus 1 is minus 1 let px is equals to x cube plus x square plus x plus 1 here we have to put the value of x as minus 1 so minus 1 cube plus minus 1 square plus minus 1 plus 1 1 minus 1 cube is minus 1 minus 1 square is 1 minus 1 as minus 1 and 1 this is minus 1 plus 1 cancel out this minus 1 and plus 1 cancel out we get result equals to 0 if we are getting result as 0 means x plus 1 is a factor of a given polynomial in same way if I am putting the value of minus 1 in x power 4 plus x power 3 plus x square plus x plus 1 minus power 1 power 4 minus 1 power 3 minus 1 power 2 minus 1 and 1 we get result 1 minus 1 plus 1 minus 1 and 1 here we are cancelling out this plus 1 minus 1 this plus 1 minus 1 cancel out we are getting only a single one so if we are getting zero as here results that means it is a factor here we get result equals to one so x plus one is a not factor of x square plus x cube plus x square plus x plus one in same way you have to solve question number three and four here the question number two using factor theorem whether gx is the factor of px in each of following case here we have three cases i will solve two cases and one case you have to solve yourself in first px is 3 a uh, 2x cube plus x square minus 2x minus 1 and gx is x plus 1 we have to find whether x plus 1 is divisible by 2x cube plus x square minus 2x minus 1 or not if we are equating gx equals to 0 so I will get the value of x equals to minus 1 so putting the value of x equals to minus 1 in above polynomial we get 2 into minus 1 cube plus minus 1 square minus 2 into minus 1 plus ah uh, sorry minus 1 in same way first we will have to get our minus 1 cube as result we get a minus 1 2 into minus 1 in same way minus 1 square is 1 in same way this minus minus become positive so 2 into 1 is 2 and minus 1 as it is here first this plus 1 and this minus 1 cancel out so this is and then minus 2 and plus 2 is cancel out so we get result equals to 0 if we are getting result equals to 0 that means the gx is divisible by px in same way px is x cube plus 3x square plus 3x plus 1 and gx is x plus 2 first we have to make gx plus 2 is equals to 2 so we get x equals to minus 2 now we have to put the value of x as minus 2 first of all this is minus 2 cube plus 3 as 3 in place of x square i have to put minus 2 square plus 3 into minus 2 plus 1 First of all, minus 2 cube is minus 8, minus 2 square is 4, 4 into 3 is 12, 3 into minus 2 is minus 6 plus 1. 
first of all this minus 8 and minus 6 is minus 14 while plus 1 is 30 so minus 14 plus 13 is minus 1 if we are not getting result equals to 0 means dx is not a factor of px question 3 you have to solve yourself here the question number 3 question number 3 find the value of k if x minus 1 is a factor of px in each of the following case here we have a four cases first case second case third case i will solve two cases and you have to solve two cases in homework first we have to find for x minus 1 is to be factor means we have to equate x minus 1 equals to 0 so we will get the value of x equals to 0 here px is x square plus x plus k means if i am putting the value as 1 and we are getting equals to 0 in here we have given this is the factor of above polynomial means we are getting equals to 0 now i have to put the value x as 1 this is 1 square and instead of x i have to put 1 and k as it is and i have to equate it with 0 so p1 is 0 so 1 square is 1 plus 1 is 2 2 plus k here 2 plus k equals to 0 this 2 on another side become negative 0 minus 2 so k is minus 2 in same way question number 2 px is 2x square plus kx plus root 2 here i know the p1 is a factor of a given polynomial so i have to put the value of px as 1 so 2 into 1 square plus k into 1 plus root 2 i know this is equals to 0 so i can say 1 square is 1 1 plus 1 into 2 is 2 k into 1 is k and root 2 as root 2 this root 2 on another side become negative root 2 and this 2 also become on another side negative 2 so k is equals to minus 2 minus root 2 i have taken a common minus so 2 plus root 2 thank you students